Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. Welcome back. Let me know if the audio is uh, all right. I had to, uh, my computer reset a whole bunch of settings, so I don't really know. It sounds good to me, but just, you know, let me know. Ah, you spot the new logo, yeah. It's uh, in development still. We're still working on some stuff, but it's coming along. So today, give me one second. I'm just uh, updating all my social media things here to let everybody know that we're streaming. I know it's a little bit early. All right, so today we're gonna do a little bit more work on Union Terminal because priority number one right now is for me to just get this stinking thing finished and get it out. Tired of looking at it. Although I'm not tired of looking at it. I'm just, I just want you guys, I'm just excited for you guys to get your hands on it too. So I want to uh, get it out there to you guys. So, uh, yep, happy Friday indeed. I am back from Texas, got back late last night. Actually took a half a day of work today uh, because I just got back really late. Uh, but let me switch the transition over here. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, Texas was great. I'll talk a little bit about that in uh, in a moment. Just want to let you know a couple things that I'm doing a little bit differently since um, my last few live streams. Um, I did switch my monitor, so now I'm playing the game on my old monitor on my left-hand side. So this is just the 1080 monitor. But it allows for the mouse to actually line up to what I'm actually doing. Uh, so now, because of that, on the right-hand side is gonna be my, my chat and OBS and all my controller and stuff like that. So I might get a little bit flipped around, uh, so, I don't know, I'm gonna try to, ma like, manage the chat and play on the, play the game on this monitor, and we'll see how that goes. But that's the first order of business, plus, I, you know, I had to move my, my camera as well. So, the camera is in a different location, so you're looking into the other corner of my little tiny office I got here. So let's see, we got 23 people here. That's doing pretty good. So here are some of the things that are really left to do, and this is kind of what I have in mind for today, is to just get the signals. I need to get some signals placed on here. And I've got kind of a good idea of where they need to go, um, but I'm gonna be using these PRR style signals, and I'm not, I really don't know how to read them. So I might have a little bit of a problem with that, and I've already, uh, programmed in three operating sessions with AI trains and stuff. So I'm a little bit scared that by adding uh, signals now, I'm going to screw up what I've done with the AI trains in um, some of these other ones. Um, but uh, yeah, so that is what we have in store for today. And then uh, depending on how long that takes to get this thing signaled, we'll we'll go through the, um, the operating sessions that I created and, um, and run them and just uh, see how that goes. Make sure nothing is broken, and then you guys get to see what I've been working on off camera. Um, let me just scroll through the chat here, see what you guys talk about. Husky says he's getting a fever. That's not good. I hear the flu is going around really bad. In fact, my wife got really sick when we were in Texas, unfortunately. Uh, she got a really bad head cold, but the flu is going around really, really bad, I guess, everywhere. Um, so hopefully you get that checked out. Uh, but Texas was great. It was really good to, uh, hang out with my brother for a bit, him and his girlfriend. Uh, we stayed at his house there and, um, hung out for a bit. We went out to Austin last Saturday. I have some friends out in Austin and, um, yeah, just kind of sightseed a little bit. The weather wasn't really super great, but we, uh, we made the most of it as, as best as we could. It was like really cold on, let's see, yesterday was Thursday, Wednesday. It was like raining and and just freezing. It was in the 40s. It's like, man, we left Rochester to get away from this crap. Like now, now we're dealing with it here. Um, so let's see, let's take a look at these assets that I'm gonna, gonna use here. Let me just, hold on one second. I need to check my audio monitor here.
Check, check. Okay, that sounds better to me. My, uh... Is the music too loud? It sounds really loud in my monitor. I'm gonna turn it down just a little tiny bit. Go down to... Uh, let's see. 12? We'll try 12, because I think that's usually what I do. Oh, I gotta pull my sleeves up. It's getting hot in here already. Again, I got a heating pad on my back. My back is so... Like twisted and knotted up from being on the airplane yesterday. You know, these airplanes are really tiny and I'm a really tall dude. And I also need to look out the window and the window wasn't like lining up with my head. So I had to like keep, you know, bending over and stuff. So that was a little bit problematic. And then um, today back here in in New York, we're getting some snow. All right, let's take a look at what we, what the signals are that I'm gonna be using here. So we're gonna be using these styles. Wow, my mouse is, I need to like reorient myself quite a bit here. We're gonna be using these guys, and I think I kind of have a handle on how to, how to use them. I'm just not sure how to read them in terms of like, um, the aspects. You know, is this a stop or is this clear? I'm not really sure about that. Um, let me delete that. Let's take a look at this one. And uh, yeah, again, I had to do a, a reinstall on Tane, so all my pick lists are all screwed up again, and I'm rebuilding them as I go. All kinds of stuff is wonky. Once again, but that's okay. All right, so <laughs> again, I'm not a, a signal expert, so I'm gonna just do this to the best of my knowledge, and then we might have to make some adjustments later on. Um, so we're gonna need, I know we're gonna need some dwarf signals, and I think the 04 ones from what I understand are probably what I'll be using for the most part. So. I see lots of, lots of my regulars in the chat here. How is everybody doing? Did I ask that already? I hope you guys are all doing pretty well. It's the end of the week. It's Friday. So that's good. Where's everybody uh, tuning in from today? I always like seeing where you guys are all from. Let's see which one of these we're going to use. I don't know the differences between one and just the regular one. This one looks a lot better. Why did I have to reinstall? I, um... Why did I have to reinstall? Oh, I had... Wait, I'm trying to remember what happened this time. Oh, it wasn't allowing me to, to edit any of the, uh... Any sessions. Everything was kind of, like, messy. Very messy. Let's see, we got North Carolina, Tonawanda, New York, Virginia Beach, New Zealand. Mildred, Texas, Saratoga Springs, New York. Yes, that's where my brother lived for a long time. I love Saratoga. Virginia, San Antonio, Louisiana. California, Ohio, Pennsylvania, California. Awesome, good crowd today. Get rid of this. So I think we're gonna use this, which one was it? PR Dwarf Signal 1. So I'm gonna add these where I think they go for the most part. And you're gonna you're gonna have to pardon me if my thoughts are a little scrambled today and I seem a little exhausted because as I said I was I think I got home last night at like eleven, eleven thirty or something like that. Sacramento, Pittsburgh, Central PA, Indiana. Taxes. Is taxes the place? Taxes, state of mind. So I know we're gonna need some uh, some some dwarf signals here to control movements out of our uh, terminal here. So we'll just go ahead and throw a few of those down. I like to line them up. This is all stuff I should have done during the build itself. Ugh. There we go, heating pad. So we will add some 
here, here. And the other thing I've been doing on this map is setting the speed limits and um, I added, actually I should show you guys. I added, I modified the tracks a little bit. When will this be released? Well, as soon as I feel like it's done, which will hopefully be at the end of this, hopefully be at the end of this uh, live stream. <laughs> so if you guys remember from the last live stream, I was trying to figure out what to do here. Um, I think that was the last live stream we did here. And I decided I came up with this sort of crossover dealy here. And I don't hate it. I really, it doesn't bother me too much. Um, primarily, the, the only movements that are gonna happen over this are gonna be engines coming from the engine terminal. So there's not gonna be a whole lot of movement. This this track is gonna see more traffic on it because this is the main track um, that will link you to mainline track one and mainline track two. So uh, I'm not too worried about that uh, causing too many traffic jams or anything like that. Uh, but I needed to add that because there was no way to get an engine from the engine terminal over to the passenger terminal, which is kind of a necessary thing to have. So. Uh, we got that, and then um, I also added, I thought I had another one in here. I added this junction right here, and I think before it was down here. I might actually add that back in. And what I had noticed is that this is really the yard lead. This isn't like supposed to be used as a main track. Um, so if you needed to get a some kind of a an engine into the arrival track here, or a train into the arrival track, it would be, you wouldn't be able to, like, be doing any switching. So what, what I'm trying to say is, like, if you have a train set up... Oh, I might have just totally messed things up. Okay. If you have a train that is uh, switching the, the, the terminal here, let's say he's switching this out, you could still bring a train onto the arrival track or send a train down here without him actually being interrupted. This would actually be on the ladder, so it would be something like that. So you, you can have... Um, Keep it free, keep the yard ladder free so that you don't have to worry about yard engines getting blocked by uh, by mainline traffic. And I think I moved another crossover some other place and I can't quite remember where it is. I think maybe this one I flip-flopped. I think maybe it went up this way, uh, but I flipped it to go the other way. So, back at it again with the heating pad, yep. The story of my life, I can't even turn my head to the right right now because it's super, super knotted up in my back. Aaron Hurst, what's up? How's it going? Is this going to be Tain only? Yes, it's been built in Tain. So it'll only be compatible in Tain and probably whatever else comes after that, hopefully. Maybe. Possibly. It's always the roll of the dice. So let's see. Let's get back to what we're doing here. So we're going to start signaling some of this stuff. And like I said, after we do some of the signaling today, we'll, we'll go in and check out some of the uh, operating sessions that I was working on to make sure that I didn't break anything too badly those lined up nicely so now that's going to control the movements let's move this back control our trains that are exiting the uh the passenger terminal here very nicely Uh, yeah, so back to my trip to Texas. It was good. It was uh, it was good to just relax. Like, it just kind of hung out for the most part. Because, like I said, the weather wasn't super, super great. Um, so, you know, we're kind of limited in what we could do. Because a lot of the stuff in Texas is kind of like outdoor stuff. Or, like, the restaurants and stuff like that have a lot of outdoor space and that sort of deal. So, it made it kind of difficult to do anything. To do a lot of the stuff, I guess. Do a lot of the things. Uh, we're going to add one of these over here. Actually, I th think... I think to control... It's going to be on the wrong side, isn't it? Uh, in order to control movements on the main line into the, uh, into the Union Terminal here, I th think... And through this whole interchange here, we're going to need uh, an 06. Could be completely wrong on that but i think that that's the case and you're not even going to be able to see it really uh, but the ai engines will be able to use that so that's going to control movement from the main line into the terminal uh i didn't get to railfan when i was in texas at all i did see a couple um kansas city southern trains uh kind of like in the distance and a couple up trains but 
I didn't have any chance to do any rail fanning. I didn't really know where to go. There's so many highways out in Texas. It was just like, or, or in the Houston area at least. It was just like overwhelming to even figure out where and what we were going to do. And when we were going to do it and how we were going to get there. Because everything at least took an hour to get to. Like at least an hour. Anywhere. So it was kind of tough, and we wanted to do... We did the uh, Houston NASA Museum, which was awesome. Like, I'm a big space geek, uh, as you can tell by the two space posters behind me. Um, I love space science and all that kind of stuff. So going to NASA was really cool, and we happened to be there on the day that uh, SpaceX launched their uh, their Heavy Falcon, or Falcon Heavy. And um, I totally forgot about it, and I happened to be looking at an exhibit and look over over my shoulder, and I saw that they had a big screen playing it, and I was like, <gasps> We gotta watch this. Like, ran over and they had like a news crew uh, looking at everybody there. So that was pretty neat. So that was exciting. That was probably for me the highlight. Aside from seeing my friends and family there, um, I'd say that NASA was probably the highlight of my trip. Now I don't know if that should be like that. I don't know. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out as we go. I, re I really think that this should be a gantry here, but I don't think I have a... I don't know if I have a gantry that'll work. I don't even know if I have any gantries, to be honest with you, that for this style signal. You know, the signals, I'm not even sure where, uh, what they belong to. They, they're, I know they're jointed rail signals, um, from Justin Cornell, but I don't know if they're on the site, because I got them through our little, um, our download hub that we all share with each other. Um, so I don't know, I don't know if they've been released yet or not. Let me see if I have a gantry to put, put these things on. Because I think really what I need is a, like a three-track gantry. Is that... Am I using the right term? It's a gantry, right? I still have this problem with SP2 hotfix, whatever the heck we're in, where it just doesn't display the asset that I'm trying to look at. Like, it just get this stupid pinwheel for forever. And sometimes the asset will show up underneath. It's pretty irritating. I might be able to make use of this one. So this is a three track. Let's get rid of that. Let's see how this works. This, this one might work, but there might be... I don't know, maybe it's too modern, but I'm going to try it. Let's see, what do we need? 06. Is this actually going to line up properly? More importantly, am I using this correctly? Seems like it's facing the wrong way. There we go. Okay. Or now it's facing the wrong way. I hate doing stuff like like this that locks onto locks onto the asset and then I don't know. You're like dragging it around. Kind of annoying. Uh, so let's see. That was a oh wait. 06D144A. I don't know what that means. Maybe that's not what I need to use. 111. It's not displaying anything right now. I'm assuming maybe it lights up when there's a train coming or in the block. That's all I could think. This is... Well, maybe I could use this 05. Nope, that also doesn't light up. All right, not a big deal. We're, we'll, we'll figure this out. 
So we're going to use the same over here on the other track. So yeah, guys, I got a little bit of time to stream this evening, this afternoon. My wife got a job. Well, another job. She's working like three jobs right now. Three, three kind of very part-timey type jobs. Uh, but she got a new job that she really, really likes. And she uh, had just started uh, just before we left. So uh, they're training her tonight. So she's doing like a closing shift. So she'll be home at like 730. So I got at least until then. And then I'm probably going to hang out with her. For a bit. But that means I don't mean to make it sound like she's the reason why I can't make videos or stream or something like that, but um when she's at work that'll give me more of an opportunity to to do live streams and uh do videos and stuff like that because usually when she's home I wanna hang out with her, you know? So if she's not home then I can I can do this. Okay, so let's see. We've got these guys are controlling traffic into here. That'll give the aspect for pretty much everything leading in. So that should be all we need necessarily to control this. Ah, Jared Dark, what's up, dude? You're always asking me about this this map. So here it is. <laughs> it's uh, it's coming along. We're getting there. Uh, where did I get these signals again? I'm not sure they are J JR signals, but I'm not sure if they've been uh, released yet or not. I can probably check up on that soon. Wait, you have a wife? Yeah, man. <laughs> been married for two years almost now. I, I mention her all the time, so I'm kind of shocked that you guys don't know that by now. Um, so we're going to need a dwarf... Maybe not. We need just a really basic signal here for this track. Since this is pretty minute movements here, I think. Uh, actually, no. You know what? We're, we do need, because that goes through... This track goes through all these junctions, so yeah, we need an... I think we need an 06. What are the little red things on the track? That's the speed limits that I'm using here. They're invisible speed limits. Um, we're going to use this. I'll show you that in just a moment. Let's get this lined up. There we go. Okay, so that should be correct-ish. We'll see. Um, the speed limits, this is, this is them. So they are... Um, directional, so trains going in this direction uh, will be triggered when they go over them to change to 15 miles an hour, but if a train going this direction passes over that, it will not be affected unless it reverses back over it, so uh, you have to put them in the direction that you want the AI or the uh, the user to see them, so here's a good example right here. We got 15 miles an hour going in, and then trains coming out will hit this, and then they can go up to 20. So I have pretty much all of the speed, I think, set here to about 20, I want to say. Pretty sure I have it set to 20. All right, uh, so we got that, we got those there. We have dwarf signals. I don't think I need anything more than a dwarf signal here. Dwarf along these things here. Let's line these up, because I, I like having all that lined up. So my idea here is once I can get... Signaling is, is seems like it's just it's the last thing I need to do here. I've got the sessions built, and assuming that the operating sessions aren't totally broken by what I'm doing right now, um, then I can really start looking at uh, getting this sucker released. Because I'm excited for you guys to get it, too. Get your hands on it. There we go. I think that's lined up. No, go back. I hate when assets do that. They just jump because your perspective is skewed. It's kind of like shoddy programming, I think.
There we go. That's cool. Peek at the chat. Let's see how far the tracks go beyond the freeway. Okay, yeah, so that's a good question, actually. So what I've done on both sides here is add kind of like a little staging yard and a portal. And uh, some crossovers so that trains can get from any track to any other track. And I've done the same thing on the other side. Uh, this one, I have the portal in the middle and then staging tracks on either side. And these are long enough to have like one really long train, like to realistic scale length, or two shorter trains, or two or three passenger trains. Um, so you can do that, and I have it set up so you can get from one track to any other track fairly easily. The only downside is um, that I've encountered coming from the yard here, you're not able to get into the, uh, the portal in the middle here um, because the tracks don't line up. So, I'm, you know, let's just do this. I didn't want to do it. We're going to add this junction back in. Because I had it, and then I pulled it. And then I think I'm going to have to change the... Oop. This game is not clicking properly today. I'm getting some kind of lag. There we go. What is going on? I'm getting a lot of lag from this game right now. Click back. There we go. So, I'm just going to add that back in. And in fact, I think... Oh, two things. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch that out. Let's see what these... What do these look like? Yeah, we're gonna switch out our automatic um, things here. Switches for, for these other ones. Oops. Bulk replace. I think this works. Yeah, that should work. Okay, I think that that'll do it. So these are these will at least be more accurate. And actually, I don't even know where these are located. Not on the not on the download station. That's that's for sure. So, oh, by the way, the music that we're listening to right now is from Epidemic Sound. If you're interested in that, it's the music that I've been using in my videos for the most part. Um, it's a paid subscription service. Um, but I got some really good tunes, and I thought I would just make a playlist out of the music that I've downloaded so far because I got some good stuff. Just mix it up a little bit so the because the other the Spotify um, Spotify playlist that I was using even though it said that it was stream safe I keep getting flags on them so it's getting a little irritating to, to have to deal with that so I'm probably not gonna use that Spotify playlist anymore if I can help it um, oh yeah now we got to do this we got to add these down here so I'm gonna say this is gonna be a dispatcher controlled junction so now you'll be able to get into and out of the yard to um, to the portal. I cannot, what is going on here? Let me look at my system here. CPU is at 9.1%. Something's lagging, it's gotta be the game. I'm clicking and dragging on this. There it goes. All right, forget it. I'll have to do that off camera. I wonder if it has to do with me being on this uh, this 1080 monitor instead of my 4K monitor that I'm normally playing on. I don't know. I need to get two 4K monitors. That's kind of the bottom line. Get everything to match up. It's like I just I don't need it, but it's like it's nice to have everything that matches. All right. So now that we did that, this is me being distracted since I'm supposed to be doing signaling, but we're gonna just. We got other things we got to do here. Since we just added this junction back, we got to add some some of these guys. Since trains doesn't have good procedural track or procedural track that doesn't lag, <laughs> unfortunately, maybe one day. Which is crazy to me that that this game lags sometimes at all. I mean, I know like we're using a lot of assets and stuff like that, but. Like, if I've got a really beefed out computer, this game should just be butter smooth all the time. Which, generally speaking, it is, but sometimes I still get some crazy lag spikes that are just like, why? Just peeking at the chat here. 
this route Steam Era? Yes, yes it is. Alright, so I think we're good to get into the yard lead from the main. Or get off the yard lead. We can get up in here. We can go up into here. So I think that that's good. We can get to the... Get to all the things. Now I think... Do I need to add signals to the reverse side of this? Is that how this works? We might have to do that. I think that that's what we're going to do. Oh, I hope I'm on the right layer. Okay. So let's see. We just need basic... Oops. We just need some basic signals here. I'm going to go ahead and say that this is probably wrong since the bridge ends there, but... I'm going to live with it. I'll let it go. Because <laughs> you can't... You just can't have it all. All the time. Not everything is going to match perfectly. And unfortunately, it's not easy to, like... Modify something. Let's do this other one here. Anthony Pecoraro, what's up, dude? Alright, so these are displaying an aspect. These ones are not. You know what I need to do, actually, I think is at the end of these tracks here. European thing here. I wish there was a better passenger station I could replace this with. Um, I know I need to add like the stop thing here. End of track. Um, because it acts as a red signal. It was called just end of track, but it's like just a red flag. What's up, Black Sky? Welcome, 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 welcome to the stream. Rail and wood. Sometimes I don't even read what these are, and I, I'm just like clicking through them. This is what I need. Oh, don't give me this. Nonsense. Why can't I put it here? I don't understand. I hate this game sometimes. <laughs> I should be able to place this here. Did it say it was on a locked layer? Is that what it was? Let's just unlock all these things. Yeah, it won't let me place it here. Am I gonna have to do this? This is gonna be so stupid. I have to put it here and then drag it down. That's just obnoxious. Ugh. This game. Just let me place the stinking asset, that's all I ask. What's going on, Jimmy Productions? Jennifer Normum? Normum? <laughs> How's everybody doing? All right, I got to do this part here. It's just one, two, three. And we got to flip them. Flip them the proper way. But this is going to act as a red signal at the end of the track so that the signals leading up to it don't just give a red signal that the, uh, the track just ends at the signal or is unsignaled territory or whatever it is that the game likes to, likes to display. that one we gotta go this one hopefully I can tweak these from in there too now that they're actually placed down on the right layer or whatever it is that the game didn't like that I was trying to place it on it's like it doesn't want you to connect splines that aren't the same thing but I can put signals on fences you know it's like why why is this game like that sometimes it doesn't make any sense I can't connect a, a fence and power lines okay that's fine I can't put this on this track because it's connected to a building. All right, whatever, but... Hey, you want to put signals on fences? Go ahead. All right, we're 
we're gonna put this on that last tie. Same with that one. We gotta flip this guy. Hey, if you're just tuning in, leave me a uh, note there in the comments. Let me know, or in the in the chat, not in the comments, uh, where you're tuning in from. Where you're from? I like seeing where you guys are all from. All right, we got that in there, so that's good. That's that'll end as a red signal, which means that these last set of signals. Let's put an engine down just to see what happens here. Uh, what am I looking at here? Uh, let's just take an engine. Okay, so that does display a an aspect. What is this aspect? You guys know straight across? Is that clear? That would be clear because that's a straight track. Hmm. Georgetown, Delaware, Australia, Pennsylvania. Alexander City, Alabama. Excellent. Oh, I do need to add the... Wherever those were, those stoppers. I need to add those to the staging tracks as well. Portland, Oregon. Stop. Okay, so that's a red signal then. All right. Good to know. I should have the, uh, the the NORAC rule book like opened up in front of me on my other window. Left to right is stop, top to bottom is go. Okay, so we're gonna have to figure that out then. I have a feeling I'm gonna regret doing this and I should have just left it unsignaled because <laughs> I really am not, I don't have any idea what I'm doing. I mean, I have an idea, but we'll see what happens. Excuse me. Get a little gurgle in the back of my throat there. Just line these up, put that on the last tie. Alright, cool. So yeah guys, getting back into this, now that I'm back, I don't have any other big trips coming up or anything like that. I think I'm gonna get back into the video making grind big time. Try to get, I'd like to get more than one video out a week. But I might be j being just way too hopeful on that. But we'll see. We'll see if I can do it. I've got some ideas for some other, some other content, some other videos that I can, that I could do. Oh, do I need to add, s these should act as a red signal as well. These bumpers. Yeah, signal, so that should act as a stop. All right, so. That's a tender, I think it'll work. It would work though, I think. Come on, give me a, give me a locomotive. It's not, of course, I can't preview the assets still. A lot of this stuff I just found on the download station, for the most part. Most of it. Is that? Nope. Oh my gosh. Where's my... New York Central. Give me my RS3 or something. Anything. Okay. Australia. Sydney Trains videos. Awesome. Good stuff. Alright, so this... Is this clear? Or is this a... You know what, let me open up the NORAC. That is just incredibly loud. To me. Can I look up PRR signals from NORAC? Okay, here we go. All right, so I got these, so this is diagonal without a bottom. Switch open, approach restricting. If this was lit up, it'd be an approach medium. 
I guess I'm more curious how the, the AI trains are going to respond to this sort of deal. Did I fix the main central route? Not yet. We're uh, That's the next thing on my to-do list. Well, I'm trying to get this done, and then I can focus on trying to get that fixed and get that all caught up. Where did I get this? Alka RS3. I believe this was from the download station. If not, the other resources I use are... Um, let me think here. Where do I get my stuff from? Trains Forge, either the new or the old website. And then there's another one out there too. Um, God, I can't remember what it's called. Let me look it up. Trains Forge is a good one. I'm trying to look here in my bookmarks. I can't remember what it was called. Peter's Trains, maybe? No, I don't think so. Maybe? Peter's Trains might be one of them. Doesn't look like it was. I, I honestly can't remember what the other one was. Somebody sent it to me and it was... It was a site that I didn't recon recognize, like, off the top of my head. No, it's not that one. Alright, anyway, back to this. Oh, just this heating pad. Oh, I hate this thing. Union Terminal hopefully will be on the jointed rail site. That's the plan, but um, we'll see what happens. That was the original plan. Okay, so we've got... I'm wondering if we need to put... If we need to put uh, dwarf signals going facing in this direction. We may possibly want to add a dwarf signal Oops. here, I think, maybe. I think I might, I don't know. See, I just don't know how these light up in like, like what the, how they're gonna behave. I guess that's all I'm trying to say is I don't know how they're gonna behave. And I need to, those have bumpers, so we've got that. So theoretically, that would work. We've got a signal here. Probably would want an 04, oops. You know what, we're gonna just do this. This is gonna be the easiest, easiest solution to this problem. We're gonna put a dwarf signal here for this track. No, you know what, I take that back. I take that back. We're gonna use, we're gonna use just a regular one. Oh, no, it's, I can't, it's too close. All right, so that's what we're gonna do then. We're gonna just use the dwarf signal here just to control movements down the down this track uh, which theoretically should only be used for as a yard lead like this isn't supposed to be a main track this is just a yard lead so in theory that's how that would work um, the way that I've been running it is that trains that exit the portal or exit the, the the yard here go right onto this right hand most track this is technically the main track and then this is the uh, side or uh, passing track or track two, whatever you would want to call it. Um, so it kind of makes for some interesting movement, really, when you have a train that that is coming out on here, and then he has to take this junction to go this way, and you've got another train coming this way. So that it looks pretty cool. It works pretty nicely. All right. So now what we need to do is kind of do something similar down on this end. And I think what we're going to do is just use, we're going to use that gantry, whew, gantry again. And I think we're going to just use um, some 04 signals to, to get that. And I, I think that that should be sufficient. We will see. 
We will see. I wonder, can I move this over one? No. And he's clipping into the power lines now. Hmm. Definitely not moving those power lines. So then that means we can't use the gantry. Womp womp. So we have to figure this out the other way. So we can use maybe the uh, 04. Well, we don't actually need one on this track because this is a yard lead. So we only need to signal, we only need two signals here. We need one for the main track. This is so close. Uh, we might just hide them. I'm, I think that that's gonna be the only real solution is to hide. Just so that the AI can see it and and it's there. That's the only way. It's because they're, they're too man. That is way like up inside that track. Yeah, and then mm. yeah. I mean, because this is that is just going to be for the purpose of the AI trains coming on. So I think that that may work. I'm not sure. We'll just we'll just leave that for now. We'll see how that works. Again, like I said, that's just for the AI trains. The main thing for visual, you know, when you're operating it is going to be these signals here as well as the ones over here. So maybe what we want to do Let's do this. This might be an option. This might be a nicer option, actually. We'll use that, um, ooh, itchy. Um, we'll move the, we'll use this gantry bridge over here as well. But was there a two track version? Oh, there's a cantilevered version. Actually, that's still gonna clip those power lines. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. Um, but the 377 gantry, I think we'll work over here. And then that should be just enough space between these tracks that we can have, yeah. We can have signals on both sides to control trains coming in, trains going out. Maybe I can move it one day, there we go. So just get it in place. And that way it's just in between all four of these switch junction points. And uh, we can put down, we can put down the, the other signals that we need. So, PRR. The manual switch levers look European. Which, which ones are we talking about here? Talking about these ones? I think these are new century switch stands. Oh, these are CNR. How did that happen? Hmm. Interesting. So these are C and R. I don't remember placing those down, and you know what? Come to think of it, I've... Yeah, here's another one. I wonder if something happened where something got replaced. Maybe not. Maybe I did place them. So I feel like I noticed this some other place where... Some assets got, like, switched. Um, but I don't know. Maybe... Maybe that's okay. So, all right, let's just come back over here. We'll leave the we'll leave those switch stands for now. They are too new switch stands. I'm going to leave them for now and then we'll take a look at that after this. I need to See, I don't know what any of these mean. The LD1-1-1 and then the 1-5. I really just need like a basic, I think. I think I just need a basic 04 here because we already had the uh, 06 controlling it on the way in. 
And I think these are just gonna give the final, like, actual... Uh, actually, you know what? I think an 04 would be good on this side, and I think 05's on the other, now that I'm thinking about it. And again, these are not lining up precisely, but... Might just have to live with it. Where would that go? Does that go back further, maybe? That seems right. So again, I don't even know if this this is made for this, but we're gonna use it. We're gonna make it work. It's a minor detail. It's one of those things with trains where, with this game, where you can't you can't have everything. Not every asset is gonna work and work perfectly. It's not possible to like kit bash something to work better. So you have to you have to. Uh, Work with what you got. What's going on in the chat over here? I don't think I have any moderators right now, so I'm gonna have to pay attention. Sorry, just uh, checking this. Okay. So I think we need O fives for this. Use the gantry, four meter, three track, in an area where the gantry is in the bad area. All right, let's do this, boom, boom. And then we're gonna move this up to here. Yeah. Which was an easier way to fix like the uh, the the tie situation here, but I don't really know of a good way to do it. Maybe you guys do. I don't know. Not die. All right, so that's displaying a thing. I know this is just gonna start getting really, really hairy soon, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes once we get some trains on here. We'll see how everything behaves. I'm assuming things are gonna behave very wildly and. Probably not the way that I want them to, but we'll see. The only way to find these things out is to test them. Test play. Like I said, I discovered a lot of stuff just with the track plan itself, just by operating for a little bit. Okay. So we got signals going this way. We've got those signals. Trying to make sure here we've got that's going that way that's already been controlled that should be controlled through there we need signals going this way Just trying to decide if I need to put some more 
signals over here at all. Oh, you know what I do need? I do need a signal here um, to get from the yard to the main line. So I wonder if there's a left-handed one. Like an 04. Hmm. Really just need something like that right there, but I think maybe the dwarf signal will work fine. Alright, enough with the name calling in the chat, guys. Grow up. Need to signal the staging and station tracks. Well, the staging tracks, I would think, are signaled by these two. We can throw a dwarf here just for anything that's coming down the, uh, the yard lead for whatever reason. Um, but but the the red at the end here should be enough to signal the end of this so trains don't just try to keep driving and then that'll give the only downside of that actually is that that's gonna give a restricting signal now that you mentioned that we should put one maybe we should do it halfway down um, yeah because that's gonna give a restricting signal where we don't necessarily want one up and then that should maybe give enough of a uh, enough of a buffer there because what will happen then is that if that is a, a stop then these will be sort of like get ready to stop as opposed to trains coming out of staging on the other side are gonna get like a reduced speed signal or something like that so I don't want I don't want trains going through here on you know five miles an hour because they see a stop signal like all the way at the other end of the layout so I think that should be fine, but yeah, maybe we want to do... Yeah, really would we want... Can I put it on the bridge? Do you guys know, did they do that? I know like in modern day they'll put like, they'll put signals right on bridges, but I don't know if they'll do that. If they did that back in the day. So without that gantry, there's really no other way around that. But I'm not... I guess I could theoretically move the fencing a little bit closer to this road. But... So I could put the, uh... Put the, um... That gantry back in. I guess we could try that. Well, let's see. Let's... We're, let me get that gantry. And then we'll put it down and we'll just see how far over we would have to move it. Move it over. What if I flip this? Doesn't look like we would need to move it too far. Let's just try. Try and see what happens. Use the asset I said. What was... Say the asset again, because I totally missed it. Sorry. <laughs> it's a lot to try to pay attention to when I'm doing this. Uh, where's the next spline point? Maybe we'll just add one here. This may work, maybe? I have a voice. I mean, that might be enough clearance, I think. That might be enough. Gantry 4M3 track. Let me take a look at what you got. Gantry 4M. Is it just a regular? Is it a regular asset? I, I guess I don't have it. Do you have a, a QID? A QID?
All right, so let's do the 04. We need to be here. Boom, boom. And then we'll play test soon. So these are our two main tracks. Uh, so this should be giving a signal as to what to do ahead. I think that that's fine. Mighty fine. And we'll do to this direction, which should give signal going into the staging yard. And it looks like, we'll see. That might work. I think maybe this will work. There, put this here. These are not on the same plane, so we gotta move this. All right, let's see here. So that's giving a stop, stop aspect, right? That means stop. What if I put an engine down or put something down here? What's up, Train Man 261 Welcome. Yep, everything I do is going to be Tane only, unfortunately. Maybe I'll do some more TMR builds, but um, honestly, I'm not sure about that. Um, so we're getting a stop. Oh, you know what? Can you configure these? Do you have to configure these? I just realized that that's a thing, too. Yeah, so what do we do with this stuff? Approach lit. Operate in automatic when idle. No train approaching. Display red lens for stop indication. Why don't we do that on those? And this is also giving two stop indicators, but what if I, what is approach lit? Is that just because there's no, uh, nothing there? No train? Yeah, okay. So we don't need that. We don't need it to be approach lit. Operate automatic when idle. I'm not sure what that means exactly. Okay, that might be what we want. Might be the ticket. Oh, before I screw this up, we're gonna lock all these layers before I jump back in the wrong one again. Cuid to blah, 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 let's try it. Copy and paste. I don't think I have this, but I could look it up on the download station. So let's see, let me get the DLS opened on my other window here. Just take a peek quick. Uh, download station. Oh, I wish the download station was a little bit better looking. This terrible UI that they have here, or lack of UI, I guess. Gantry 4, there it is. Mm, I don't know if I like the look of that one. It's a little simple. There's not a whole lot of detail to it. lost on my screens okay so let me save this and I'm gonna take a short bathroom break and then we'll take another quick look at this and then we'll, we'll run it so I'm gonna flip my card back and uh, we'll be back in just one moment I'm usually pretty quick
All right, I'm back. See, that was quick. Sorry about that. All right, so. A little sippy of coffee. Uh, so let's see, he's probably getting a red signal because of something silly. But let's take a look at these quick. So we, we want to look at, oh, what happened? So I want to take a look at what the configuration options are for this. I don't think I want this approach lit. I kind of like it. I kind of like the idea of them always being lit. Operate and automatic when idle. So we'll do that. And display red. I kind of like that. Number of plate type. Horizontal four space. I don't know what that means. Signal number. Oh man. Five, nine, eight, seven. No, that's, that's a stupid number. Five, nine. Two, six. So then I'll set these ones to be the same. Not approach lit. Operate automatically when idle. And this one will be 5925. Five. Why not? This one will be not approach lit. Display red. 5924. Okay, so we got that kind of doing things now. You guys still with me? Seems kind of quiet suddenly. We'll do the same over here. Uh, operate automatic. Operate automatic. Oh, I know already this is just going to be so, so, so much trouble when I go to check this with the AI trains. I'm trying to get a look at this signal here. What's it displaying? Can I zoom out just enough? So we got nothing on the bottom. Clear on the top. Okay. What are the configurations here? Define straight path through junctions. Okay, yep. Edit entries clear or remove or add. Diverging route is unbonded. I'm not sure what that means. So only block signals have numbers on them. Am I using the wrong type of signal? I don't know what diverging route is unbonded. I'm gonna leave that on default and we'll just see what happens. Yeah, like I said, not really, not really any idea what I'm doing with, with these things. And then we'll have these over here. Approach lit, display red. So now, why are we getting red signals from these guys? They should be... Ah, there we go. I was gonna say, they shouldn't be red. This should be a, this should be like a, you know, like a yellow signal, basically. So I think that that should maybe possibly, possibly work, maybe. Uh, all right. I don't know if I need to do anything else. Oh, we did, we did these, right? All right, so let's delete this car. And I guess, do you guys think we're ready to do a, to test this out and see how, how much I broke this? I think we might be ready to rock with that. Let's 
trying to adjust this mic so it's not so in my face. I think... Uh, just wait to see what you guys say in, in the chat. Virginia says yes. I think I broke everything, so we're gonna we're gonna test it. Save. I don't need to save a new session because it's just gonna save another default one. And what we're gonna do is go into here. Go to view sessions. Um, so let's do. All right, we're gonna do this one. We're gonna do, this is supposed to be the second operating session that you would normally use, um, or that you would do. So we'll do that uh, rather than me replaying. No, you know what, let's do, let's do Coach Shuffle because this is the one we were working on during the first live stream, the session making live stream, and I think it's done. So let's just, let's do it. Let's see how, how badly I broke it. All right, so if you guys see anything, any problems with this, um, let me know in the comments or I guess put it in the comments because the chat doesn't stay. So if you put it in the comments, then I can actually like re reread it and go back to it. So I've got the little pop-up window that shows up, tells you what you're gonna do. I want to hide all of these junction overlays because I hate them. Um, so there you can read that part and then this is the bottom part. I'll leave it up there for a few moments. And then, uh, let's see. I can't, it's, you know, this is going to be good for me because it's kind of, it's been a few weeks since I've looked at this, maybe even a month. So it's fresh to me. So now I can like kind of look at it with new eyes and see if there's any, anything broken. I can't tell what the sound level is, so I'm gonna turn it up just a little tiny bit. 30% maybe. So this is the one that we started uh, the last, uh, last time. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, okay, the signals are there. Okay, I was gonna say, why didn't the signals show up? Um, so, let's see, what was I trying to say? So yeah, the idea of this one was to shuffle a couple of coaches around and then switch out the freight house. So that's what we're gonna do. I uh, built the session around having these little icons pop up to tell you what to do. So hopefully it's self-explanatory enough. Jacob Oliver, welcome. Hello, welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us. People must be getting out of work, out of school by now, so we might see some more people popping up in the chat. We got 47 people tuned in right now, according to my numbers. Uh, so that may change, hopefully soon, we get some more people. I like this song. I gotta get on uh, this, this website and download some more stuff, because there's a lot of really good music on there. Like, a lot. And I'd like to just set up, like, a live stream playlist that we can listen to some cool cool tunes while we do this. Ah, uh, yeah, uh, so let's see, RG5 is asking when part one of the PNB is gonna be out. So here's the thing, guys. And this is a great time for me to talk about that so that I could see what, what you guys all think. Um, to break up the PNB, like the actual route, I, th I it's possible but I think it's gonna be problematic. So, what I was considering doing is sort of the following, and nothing is set in stone, but I'm, I'm interested to see what you have to say. Um, maybe setting up like a Patreon page and part of one of the benefits that you could get with one of the mid-tier things is to actually have beta access to it. And then my goal would be to just release the PNB as a whole 
in one big thing, all three phases of it. Um, so that way it doesn't have to be cut up and then re-pieced back together and then re-downloaded and stuff like that. Because here, hear me out. Some of the problems that, uh, that I'm foreseeing, um, main central series, remind me again as soon as I'm done with this monologue. And, uh, I'll talk about that. Um, so... The thing is, is if I release this in phase one, phase two, phase three, PNB. Okay, this train worked. Yes. Okay, perfect. So he's doing his thing. All right, bring the coaches to terminal track six. All right, let me pause this for a second. Um, so my idea is that if if I release phase one in one chunk, and then somebody makes some changes, and then I release phase two, their changes are going to be overwritten when I release phase two. From, if that makes any sense. So, in order to keep continuity to the, of the map, it might be best for me to just keep it all in one piece and only dole it out a little bit to certain people, kind of like a beta test sort of deal. I'm not sure. I'm just afraid of, of releasing it too early or creating a lot of, of conflicts when I do release it. Um... Because there's just so many things that could go wrong. Oh, yeah. All right. So this guy's working. Sweet. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah, there would be a lot of board deleting and then board adding. You know? So, like, if I, if I release phase two and then I release... And then you have phase one, what do I do? Do I release a whole new route that contains phase one and phase two? Or do I include phase two as just its own like entity and then you add it in yourself you know so it it gets really complicated if i'm gonna do that so what i'm thinking is that i'm just gonna continue to like power through the whole thing and try to finish the pmb like all at once and then release it all at once and uh and do it that way so i don't know that's my idea Uh, so the main central back to that uh, You guys were asking about that and um, I Need to talk to Petrama about the main central. We need to decide what we're gonna do if we're gonna keep working on it um, And uh, and decide if we're we're gonna try to push through with all the the bugs and stuff that we're encountering or Because uh, that's what I would like to do and just try to try to make it work, but um, At the same time it, it could be quite a headache so, I'm not really too sure what to do. What's up, John Riso? Uh, so, I'd like to get back to that as soon as possible. I'm going to try to talk to him maybe in the next week or so and, and figure out what we're going to do with the main central. Um, because, again, that was a project that I was really, really excited to get started on. And I'm kind of bummed that it's that it's not a, a possibility. I'm not working on it right now. hot in this room uh, so yeah again main central hoping to get back to that video series soon PNB undecided about what I'm gonna do with the phase one two three thing because um, it is gonna get a little it could get a little bit hairy or maybe it won't I don't know I'm just trying to avoid like a big disaster that I feel like is almost inevitable so let's see this AI train seems to be doing all right So this is looking good. AI train showed up right when I wanted them to because I wanted to have some some traffic to add into this. Make it look cool. And he should slow down pretty soonish. Signals look cool. It was a good addition. I'm happy with that for sure. And they seem to be working properly, so that's that's a good sign. This train is slowed down on the approach in. We'll see if he actually pulls all the way in. Oh, my nose is itchy. Sorry, I'm not picking my nose. I mean, I, I kind of am, but it's just itchy. It's not boogers or something.
Tom Stedman has a lot to say. <laughs> says, stop caution, proceed. Sounds like the signals don't use standard or random numbering. Uh, yes, the signal could be approach lit to save bulbs. Yeah, that's probably true. I gotta pay attention here. We're gonna screw this up. Which Algo are you asking me about? Tristan Tiger's Trains, Trains player? Who's asking me here? Alright, so this guy's taking off. All of these, I believe, are from Trains Forge. If I remember properly, correctly. Alright, so this should trigger a thing. A pop-up. There we go, we got a pop-up. Wait, wait for the southbound passenger train to depart. Then in a couple from the coaches and pick up the boxcars at the freight houses. That should be self-explanatory enough. Knox Railfan, what's up, dude? Welcome to the show. Uh, decouple, detach. Just start backing up. So let's see if what aspect this has given me. I guess that is a stop. Says I should release the P and B all at once, not in parts. Yep, uh, I am kind of leaning towards that, and maybe just like I was saying, have like a Patreon thing that maybe I can give it to some people who are trustworthy enough to not, you know, sort of pirate it. Uh, but we'll. See. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know about that. I haven't decided about the Patreon thing either because I just just don't know. Uh oh, this guy's stopping. This is bad news. So, oh, it's because I left a switch open, I think. I believe it's because I left the switch. I left left that switch open. See if that helps things. No. There we go. Okay. All right. So, note to self don't leave switches open. And I don't remember what I had this guy programmed to do. Oh yeah, he's supposed to go that way. That's right. So he wasn't even going in this direction. Alright, so that open switch didn't have anything to do with it. It was just... Him controlling this, I don't know, switches or something over here. Alright, so... We, we should get a clear signal in just a moment. There we go, pick up the boxcars. I think this should go. Will it change? Train in block has not cleared the path. What happened to be able to like click on this and then it shows you what the problem is? So that switch is aligned. This one is aligned for that way. That's aligned this way. This is aligned this way. That's aligned that way. So I guess we could leave that there. So this still is giving us a no-go. Hmm. Hi, Catherine Mobley, welcome. And Andrew, I presume. Um. Hmm. What is blocking? What is the... What's the issue here? Because it should see... It should be looking all the way down here. Theoretically. Line terminator is closed. So that's a red signal. So that really should be giving me a restricting signal. I don't want to add another dwarf signal in here. Hmm. 
I am perplexed. Train in block has not cleared the path. So we might have to go back and see what's up with this. Because I'm not, I really have no idea right now. Oh wait, was that going the wrong way? No, that's supposed to go that way. Hmm. I guess let's just do this. Exit driver. Don't save. So we're just gonna... Let's add a dwarf signal in there and see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna do this for you guys for this... Uh, you keep asking about that engine, the switcher. Um, it is... I'm just gonna grab it. And I'll give you the, the QED. So there it is. There's the QID on the bottom there. Write it down quick, take a screenshot, do what you gotta do, because I'm not gonna leave it there all day. I am pretty sure it's from Trains Forge. Pretty sure. Or the download station, one or the other. Actually, it's white, so it should be the download station. Yeah, this should be on the download station. And then there was this also, this one also, which is not quite as nice. This one's a little bit better. So this should be on the download station. That's enough. All right. What am I doing? I need to add a dwarf signal, and then we're going to see if this helps. Hopefully. Unless these dwarf signals are not the right thing that I should use here. Maybe I should be using regular old 04 signals. That seems a little excessive, though. Hmm. I'm gonna, I guess, we'll put it here. Into this yard and see what happens. I mean, I, theoretically, it was saying that a train didn't clear the block. But the block was open. It was the block is from this signal to back to here. Hmm. I guess we'll try it again. Just try the session again and see if that see what happens. Because that's the only thing that I could think of is that it's looking way down there. I don't know. Exit surveyor, save, don't save session. Can't tell if somebody's in my house or if it's my neighbors. Catch you later, Tristan's trains. Thanks for hanging. Uh, coach shuffle drive. Husky Rail Fanner, we'll catch you later. I might speed this up a little bit, actually, just because we already did this bit. I'm gonna cheat a little tiny bit since we already ran ran the first part of this. The double crossover, I'm assuming, let me couple here, I'll take a look. I'm assuming you're talking about the, the one up here. This one here, this is just the track just crossed over with uh, a couple of guardrails. And actually it's a, it's a series of guardrails that are clipped into each other. You can kind of see where the Z clipping is happening. Because I couldn't find any that were as long as I needed, so I used the longest that I could find and then just clipped them together. I wish I was able to, like, extend the guardrails from the switch frog here 
all the way through, because that's kind of what they would do in real life. Um, but no luck there. Oh, we gotta turn this off. High junction overlays. All right, we're gonna try this again. We need to align some switches. That's good. That's good. And actually, because I just jumped the gun, I'm gonna screw things up a little bit. So we have to, now we have to wait for a second. <laughs> I gotta open my window in here because it's getting way too hot. So what we have to wait for is that steam train, that steam, the AI steam train in staging has to has to go first because uh, I have a trigger set up for the for that other passenger train. Uh, I think the steam train departs at two ten o two and thirty seconds, or maybe ten o two. Let's take a look. Because the next train is is this guy, and he's triggered by a trigger, whereas this guy is triggered by Wait time. There he goes. Okay, so now we can go back to our train. But we have to wait for him to, to fully pass through uh, because I have a trigger set up to set off the other train. So we gotta wait a second. No biggie. Uh, but yeah, for these sessions, I was trying to use as much uh, not built in content, but download station assets as I could just to minimize the amount of searching you guys are gonna have to do for things all of the freight cars all this stuff in the yard is all from uh, jointed rail but I'll be able to include that with the route and the sessions um, these Pullmans are from trains forge all right we can start moving forward I think This dude is cruising. You know, I'm trying to think of whatever that other website was that I got these engines off of, and I'm like totally drawing a blank. It was something that I didn't expect. Let me double check in my... Let me check my bookmarks again. Oh man, I'm not paying attention. Going down the wrong track. Oh man. Abort, abort, abort. Am I even on the right screen? I'm not even on the right screen anymore. Alright, so it's gonna have to wait. There, There is another trains website with like a lot of Steam content on it that I have used in the past. I thought I threw that switch. Yeah, that's it. Subpar Productions. That's it. Jackson Barno. He knows. Subpar. That was it. Leave it to me. I think it must be every single time that we do a stream, I either run a light or gates or... I do something wrong. <laughs> I'm a really bad, bad conductor. I guess this is what distracted, you know, conducting looks like. Engineering. All right, here we go. So yeah, the the trigger for the next train is somewhere over here. I'll try to speed things up a little bit. Good, that's good. Oh, we got a game freeze, huh? Sorry, sorry, hold on. Interesting.
I might have to... Let me just save and restart. I think that's what's going to have to happen. Sorry, guys. Let me, let me restart the game. Looks like OBS kind of froze with it for some reason. I love when this happens. Yeah, I have to relaunch the whole the thing from the ground up. Give me a second. I think it's because I clicked out of the window for a minute. Okay, I think we might be good to go. And we're back, I think. Alrighty, here we go. I think it looks like we're working again. Finally. Horizontal stop diagonal caution. Okay, good, good, good to know. Hopefully that should have triggered this other dude. Yep, he's coming. Perfect. You know, the game didn't freeze for me. It was working fine. It was just uh, OBS. Just It's because I clicked out of the window and then it didn't know what to do. Panicked. So, the woes of, of OBS and, and this game. And I don't have my... It's going to look a little bit different right now. I need to add the uh, post-processing back on. So the game is going to look bizarre for a moment while I configure it. do it this time. I think that's good. Speed up a little bit. Alright. So once we get this done, then we can get on with this session troubleshooting things I think I think everything should be good after that it seems like all the signals are working except for these little dwarf ones and if that's a problem then I'm just gonna delete it and then that'll solve that when's the next PNB I don't know might be might be next Friday so I think what I'm gonna do with the PNB is just start kind of bulk recording stuff and just break it up into episodes after I bulk record it Excuse me. Little little gurgle in my throat there. A little weird. Sorry. I don't know what that sounds like through the mic. <laughs> I don't want to know. Alright. Almost there with this. This guy is flying in here. That's fine. Okay, wait for the southbound passenger train to depart, and then on a couple from the coaches, pick up the box cars at the freight houses. Okay, we will uncouple as soon as it lets us, because right now it's loading up passengers, because that's how this game works. Are there supposed to be catenaries on this? No. 
Not on this map. I'm just using this station because that's the best, like, six track or whatever this is, eight track station that I could find. In fact, I think it was the only eight track station that I was able to find. Flip loco and then the clear will show. Oh, you have to actually change the direction, the facing direction? I guess we'll see what happens. New York Central F3s on Trains Forge. I think, are these not from Trains Forge? Are they not, are they not your guys'? I'm assuming you're from Trains Forge, uh, Jackson, just by how you wrote that. You said weave. What's up, Hiko? Did well? You guys must get a kick out of hearing me trying to pronounce some of these names. <laughs> I'm terrible. We gotta wait for this guy to move. I want to test one of these other sessions after this. Alright, there he goes. I wish there was a way to program the, the signals. Maybe there is, too. These are F2s. And Jackson Barno is from Trains Forge. Cool. So I want to try this. I'm going to change the, the facing of the engine in a, in a second. Ah, I did the skins on the heavyweights and the F units. They look really good. I do enjoy. We gotta wait for this guy to clear. So I, I was trying to make this as, feel as busy as possible because the amount of switching that you're actually doing in this session isn't really too time consuming. Um, so I wanted to spice things up with some mainline traffic because that's the way that I like to operate an operating session. If it's just moving around, if there's not like other stuff going on around there, it's boring to me. So I like, I actually like waiting. Like waiting for this train to go by is pretty cool, in my opinion. Thank you, Bob. I will keep up the great videos as, as long as I can. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Do we? How do we change the direction? I don't usually do that. Can you do it in here? Or is it up here? I think it's up here. Reverse direction. I'm still getting... I'm still getting a signal here that says... Train in block has not cleared path. But there is no train in the block. Unless, you know, the only thing that I can think of is that I'm using the wrong type of signals, so. Which is entirely, entirely possible. That's switched. I mean, everything is switched for me to go back into the, into the yard here. We're just going to bypass it so we can continue on with this. Uh, but that stinks. Oh, there it goes. It just cleared. Interesting. So, oh, okay. So maybe if the if the, that train was still in this section, it was giving me the the uh, the signal. Let me see. Do I still need to change the direction though? Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, so I don't. Oh, it did change. Oh man, this game sometimes. All right, so you do need to change the reverse of direction. There we go. Interesting. I didn't know the game was dependent on that. I thought it was mostly due to, like, which direction you were actually moving. Ugh, open that window a little bit more. It's so hot in here. Doesn't help that I have a heating pad on me either. Alright, so now we're smooth sailing, I think. You guys gotta move some of that content from the old Trains Forge site to the new one. I feel like there's there's some stuff that's on the old site that's not on the new one yet. I've been like switching between the two. Mm. 
So now we have to go in and we're gonna pick up these box cars. What happened? Wait a minute. Something happened. Houston, we have a problem. Wait for the stuff. Hmm. So the it was supposed to have a coupling icon on here, and it seems to have disappeared. I guess we'll just couple do it and see what happens if it, if it progresses with the, the session or not. It's not that I like to wait, I just like the realism, the realism of having to wait for another train to finish its job before you can go in. Otherwise it's just too much like, you know, playing toy trains to me, like it doesn't, doesn't have any like, you know, oh, we have another problem here. What is going on? This guy is not supposed to be doing whatever he's doing. Hmm, I haven't seen this one yet. Why is this locked now? Oh, I'm getting all sorts of weird bugs right now. Why is this dude, this is the train that just left. He was supposed to just go right into the portal. Ugh, I knew, I knew it. I knew adding these, these signals was gonna screw everything up. Why didn't he just go straight in there? I don't understand. Was that signal for some reason not allowing... Was this signal over here not allowing him to control the, the block itself? Or control the switches within the next block? Because he switched all these tracks, fine. Switched this one, fine. But it must not have... He must not have switched this one at all. Which is confusing to me. Uh, see, this didn't happen to me when... Before I had the signals in here. I tested this a gazillion times. This is why you should do signals before you make a session. And then test it. Because this is just... Really annoying. So I'm wondering if maybe this signal here... It's gotta be that. Alright, you know what? Let's forget this one. I'm done with this session. I've messed around with it too much. I'll have to revisit it. <laughs> Let's do one of the other sessions. And I've got a game freeze. Oh, let's see if it catches up. Yeah, something... Alright, we're gonna have to force quit trains again. Maybe. It's not even letting me do anything. Alright. Let's restart it again. Hopefully OBS sees this. Okay. Uh, let's do... This one was supposed to be day two, so we'll do that one. Yeah, I had to force quit it. I had to control alt delete it and force quit it. Alright, welcome to your second day on the job. Today, you'll be switching some cars around the ice house, but first... You need to take care of a recently arrived train on track two. The power has already been cut from the train. You'll need to pull the caboose from the train and bring it to the caboose track. All right, so let's see how this one works. Let's 
this one breaks everything. So this one I did all by my lonesome at 5 o'clock in the morning after a couple days in a row. And then uh, I've been testing it in the morning, so yeah. We'll see how it goes. Might, might not be as coherently assembled as I had thought. And I gotta put my um, post processing back on as well. So I don't even remember what my what the AI trains were supposed to do here. I think there's a couple that are supposed to come out right away. It looks like there's one coming out right now. Some of them I didn't go too crazy with the AI trains, but uh, others I I did. And I thought I set all the stupid switch levers to be like the most minimum that they could be. But apparently not. I hate that the default distance is like 30 feet away. It's like you should be able to stop pretty much right on the switch and be able to throw it. Alright, so the first thing we gotta do is couple to this caboose. Seems like this steam engine is running on. Probably coming up to a red signal, is my guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's gonna leave me two options figure out how to signal things properly, or delete all the signals and then just deal with no signals so I can actually have sessions that I built work. This this engine is not JR Payware, they do have one, but this one is from the download station. Almost there. Okay, good. Back up. Get the moose. What is happening here? There he goes. Or I guess I could just redesign the, the AI trains a little bit differently, but... The signals should really work as they're supposed to. Place the caboose on the caboose track where indicated. Okay, so we're gonna just decouple from the caboose. Bring him back, just check that off. Okay, I originally wanted this guy to be blowing through here, but I think that that's okay, because he did take a switch, so he should be going kind of slow. Tender is backwards. Yeah, I mean, that just goes to show you how much about Steam I know anything about. It's very, very uh, limiting my, my Steam knowledge. Alright, so we gotta put this caboose on the caboose track, and then we gotta do some switching. See how this we'll see how this session goes after this. Got a bad feeling. Alright, let's see. And then after this, I'm probably gonna call it quits for the evening so I can go make something to eat. So all these sessions that I made should take about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on how many rules you decide to break. But 
Okay, I can stop there. Okay, now head up to the ice house and pull all the reefers and add them to the southbound train on track three. Okay, hopefully all of my instructions are clear enough for everybody. It's always a gamble, you know. Alternatively, I really maybe don't have any business making sessions. Maybe I should like come up with the idea for them and then kind of just have somebody else put it together for me. Actually build it. Kind of like a movie script. That's kind of how I wrote these. So I scripted it out in my head. I knew what I wanted to do where and then and then I just made it happen after that. So we gotta go up to there. Blow the horn. Got your classic trains 2004 horn. Default horn. I remember that horn. Brings me back. Brings me back to the 2004, 2006 trains days. The Oran days. I'm not allowed to comment on uh, the payware thing. Going the wrong way here. All I can say is that we do help each other out with stuff. And that includes testing things that have not been released to you guys yet. All right, Joshua, thanks for hanging out. Catch you next time. All right, so let's get up here. We'll couple to these guys. Yeah, I don't know. Do you guys know where I can maybe figure out how to use these signals a little bit better? Like if there's like a... I don't know. Maybe I'll just have to ask around. Somebody's got to know. Maybe um, Justin, who made him, maybe he knows and I can talk to him. Because it'd be nice to have, I like the, the way the signals work, I like the way that they look, and it adds some more visual interest and operational interest and stuff like that, but, I mean, if it's just going to screw everything up, then I'm not, it's not worth it. Do I get script bugs with box cars? I'm not sure. I don't um usually don't pay attention to any of that stuff. If I get a bug, as long as it as long as everything's running, like I don't really care. Uh, the KNL content, I just picked up whatever was free on the KNL site. The regular freeware stuff. Just because you guys keep recommending it, and it's pretty easy to get. So if I include it in a session, it should be easy for you guys to find. All right, so it says, add the reefers to the southbound train on track three. So that's over there. So that's what we shall do next. The tank cars are from Trains Forge. Yeah, they might be. I I don't know what um, what freight cars are from JR and which ones are from Trains Forge. I really wish that N3V would add a way for you to like, you know, if you right click and hit View Details, it would like give you the details as to like where the thing is from, you know, or tell you who made it, the code number, stuff like that. Like, especially in Surveyor, like just having the you know, the, the CUID number is is nice, like, in the bottom right, like, I have it displayed, but you have to put that on. It's not just on by default. So, um, but yeah, I wish there was a better way, so that way I could just be like, oh, let me just right-click, and it's, oh, so-and-so made this, and it's from this website, you know? Like, that would be so, so, so much easier. So 
So yeah, I tried to add, when I was making these operating sessions, I was trying to add enough variety to them so that they, they didn't all feel like they were just, you were doing the same thing each time, so. I've got the coach shuffle where you're dealing with the coaches and the freight house over there. I've got this one, the ice house um, shuffle, reefer madness, uh, where you sh shuffle all the, the reefer cars around. And then um, I have another one that is uh, working some of the some of the uh, engine servicing facilities. That was kind of like a nice way to mix it up and get you guys started with with just um, with just getting going with uh, the map and stuff. Hopefully I don't derail anything in the process of doing this, because that would be a classic me move as well. Okay, so we're gonna just pull up just past this switch. Switch. And we will stop. I really wanted this map to feel as busy as possible. I wish I had like a better... A better um, city backdrop or something like that that I can use. So maybe, I don't know, maybe one day I can make one or maybe I'll find one. Because it'd be nice to have, like, not this just, like, country backdrop. The only reason I really chose this backdrop is because it's mostly blue. So then I could put building flats in front of it and then it wouldn't look too, too wacky. The trees on this map are uh, from the download station. They are ST underscore RMM underscore and then a whole bunch of other nonsense. But S if you search ST RMN MM, that'll give you, uh, that should come up with what you need. Okay, we'll connect this up. Okay. Looks like there are too many reefers for this train. Add the balance to yard track one to be placed in the next southbound train. Okay, so we basically have to make a decision. Where do we cut this off? I think right here looks like a good spot. So we just have to take what's left, what doesn't fit, and put it on the next track. And I think that that's self-explanatory self enough. You guys, hopefully anybody operating on this will have some idea of, like, what that means. I'm assuming that people have, like, a, at least a basic knowledge of, of how trains work. And I'm just trying to keep this as simple as possible as well. Okay, good. We got another freight train coming in. And he is on the wrong track. Hmm... Yeah, that's not the track that he was programmed to go on. I actually had it specifically set to come onto this track. And I bet you the signals are screwing him up. Not good. Either that or maybe my new track arrangement screwed things up. Because he came from... He came from one of these two tracks. How did he get up there? I think he came from, yeah, one of these two. Unless I screwed up. Yeah, this is not... Oh, we are all sorts of problematic. You know what? I This is just... Really irritating. Like, really irritating. So I added signals, and I pretty much screwed up everything. Oh, man. Hmm. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna take a minute break here, and I'll be right back. I need to think about what I'm gonna do here.
All right. Hmm. Ah, thanks, Andrew. Appreciate it. All right, I got, we got. I got to think about what we're, what's happening here, what we're doing. <sighs> you know, I had, I had it all. I had that the operating sessions all ironed out until I added these signals, and then that just totally threw everything off. So, not sure. Not sure what to do here. Uh, in this case, considering. I don't know, I might have to sleep on it, or maybe just have somebody else take a look at it. Who knows anything about about doing signals, because if... So that last AI train, who he was coming in on, on the yard lead track here, I actually have it forced so that he's supposed to stay on, on this track, because uh, I have track marks that he's supposed to follow, and it chose not to. Uh, they're not track marks in the... Uh, they're track marks in the session, not in the route. So... It's kind of weird that he came out here, and that's why I derailed, was because he was on this track and threw one of these switches over here while I was still using it. Kind of weird. I don't know. I'm guessing it's because of how these signals work and how they... how trains are supposed to respond in between them? I really I have no idea. Um, so... Uh... Just trying to think now. That like totally threw me off because I was I wanted to do the signaling thing and then uh, and then test it. Um, uh, well, hmm. I'm just trying to decide if I should switch over to. To do another map, to do P and B, but I'm not really sure if I'm in the motivation for that. Hmm, tough, tough, tough. That just kind of really, that derailed me. It really did. Forgive the use of the uh, colloquium, Col colloquialism. Um, I think. How long have I been building this route? I built this route over three episodes over the course of probably, I don't know, 15 hours of building time. Maybe less. Um, I think I'm gonna call it. I think I'm gonna call this stream uh, for today because this just really just totally threw me off, and I'm not. I'm kind of frustrated and I'm burned out from my trip. Also, just getting back really late, so uh, I'm not like in the greatest mood, I guess, to to have to be troubleshooting stuff that's just really irritating. Um, but I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll pass this off to one of the JR guys and see if anybody knows anything about signaling and could can help me out um, but yeah I think I'm just gonna take a break for for the rest of the night and um, relax and then I'm gonna work on a video tomorrow and then uh, maybe I'll stream again over the weekend if I have a little bit of time maybe I don't know I don't know what day I might have time but um, I think I think that's just gonna do it for today so sorry about that guys I was hoping that this would go on for a little bit longer but um, that just really threw me off, and now I'm just kind of, like, argh, just really frustrated, so. Uh, I guess that's gonna do it for today. I hope you guys have a nice Friday night, and enjoy your weekend, and all that kind of stuff, and I hope to see you again in the next live stream, hopefully in the next couple days over the weekend, or something like that, so we'll see. Alright, dudes, thanks for hanging out. Until next time, I'll see ya.